It's like we're, we're about to start a neighborhood fire here. So here's how I would start a fire with a fire pit. So I got my wood together here, which actually came from my new fence. As you see my new fence back there. So a bunch of shrapnel and some sticks, which I'm making my kindle. And I'm gonna put that right amongst the center of my wood. In my pocket, which everyone should have right now, is your hand sanitizer. It's the, it's the big time of history right now, so everyone should have their hand sanitizer. What I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of hand sanitizer and squeeze it right on the middle of that fire. What I always have on me is my sharpened sparks, my sharpens best stop. There goes a drink. So if you heard that and you know what that sounds like, people, that was a drink gone down by a dog. <laughs> the dogs will help. It's drink unfortunate. It. It's the most unfortunate thing that happened in this video. I hope I can make this happen. Okay, this is a brand new sharpened spark mini. Tungsten carbide, beer opener, inside, ferrocerium. Ferrocerium burns at 3,800 degrees. First thing I have to do is scrape the black protective coat off my ferrocerium, which, as you can see, once you get it going, starts sparking. Take my sharpened spark, which everyone should have, and light my fire. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. So now we have our She's fire going. in our Kindle. And we're, we are, woo, Ooh, fire hot, fire by the way. Fire hot. And That's what's, incredible. So, so the hard thing to see is that alcohol burns clear. So you may not know the fire is going at first, but alcohol burns clear, obviously with the scent of your hand or the uh, feel of your hand and the scent of the fire, you know that it's happening. So right now we are good to go and we have our neighborhood fire. Wow. Good to see you. Thank you. Sharpen spark. No, he doesn't understand, but I'm going to try to fix his bike up for him one day.